should you be investing while you are in debt? And there's no black and white answer here, but I wanna look at four different things you should consider if you are thinking about investing, but you actually have some debt. And this actually is a question that came from a reader the other day, and he was asking this. He said, I just watched your recent investing videos. What are your thoughts about investing while in debt? We've been going crazy at paying off our debt, which has been great, but then I see other things that make me wonder if I'm missing out on some investing. So I think the most important thing to think about here is what interest rate you are paying on your debt. Because oftentimes for most of us, that is the actual best investment that we can make. So for example, if you are paying 20% on your credit card, that is a 20% return on your money if you put that money that you have set aside directly towards that debt. And additionally, it is a guaranteed risk-free 20% return on your money just by eliminating that debt. And when you consider investing, you basically need to be sure that you are going to beat a 20% return on your money in order to make that a better financial move over paying off that debt. And if you ever find any way to invest your money and earn a guaranteed 20%, first off, it's most likely a scam, but if it's not, you have to tell me about it because I want to know about it. The reality is, is that most investors are tickled pink if they can just get a 10%, 12% return on their money. And that's really hard to come by. And that comes with a decent amount of risk attached to it. So that's where paying off this debt uh, and that guaranteed return that you're going to get by eliminating it is very, very enticing. All right, next thing to consider is how long do you wanna be a servant? And Proverbs 22, seven says that the borrower is servant to the lender. And some translations say the borrower is slave to the lender. And when we were paying off our $46,000 of debt, when we first got married, this was something that felt very, very true to me. I felt like I was in bondage. I felt like the creditors, Chase MasterCard, our bank, who had our car note, I just felt like they were coming down on me and I felt like they controlled me and owned me. And being able to pay off that debt uh, just felt so, so liberating. And so while I have had a whole lot of fun investing and while uh, we've been able to make some money investing and that's been a fun thing to do, the relief that has come from paying off our debt like far superseded any of those joys that have come from uh, being and having some investments. Next thing to consider is the education factor of getting started investing. And this is kind of a counterpoint to the previous two, but by getting started investing, you're beginning your investing education. And when I first started learning about investing, I created some mock portfolios and you can do some of the stuff online where you pretend to buy certain stocks or certain investments and you see how they do to kind of see how you would have performed. And that's fun, but the reality is, is that everything I've really learned has been when I had skin in the game and when I really put some money in uh, because you really pay attention when it's your real money. And so that's something to consider if you are waiting to get started investing until you pay off your debt, and especially if you know it's going to take a long, long time for you to pay off your debt. Um, what is the cost of delaying that education? Because the lessons that you learn from those investments, and even the ones that you lose money, and especially the ones you lose money, uh, those are going to be lessons that you're going to have for the rest of your life. And they're ultimately going to help you in every investment decision that you make going forward. So I don't at all think that's a reason you should absolutely start investing today, regardless of your debt situation, but it is something to consider. And along those lines, you don't have to invest all your money to learn some of those lessons. You can get started investing really cheap. We've created some other videos that show you how to get started investing really cheap or even with no money at all. And so you can check those out if you want. All right. And the last point to consider is, are you more like the tortoise or more like the hare? And if you remember the old children's story about the tortoise and the hare, you'll know that the hare was very impatient and the tortoise was very slow and steady. And so the question I'm asking to you is, which are you? And so if you're more like the hare, where you're very impatient and you're jumping from one thing to the next, you get distracted easily, then I suggest focusing on that debt and just really buckling down, giving it everything you have to try to knock it out as soon as possible before you get distracted by the next thing. But if you're more like the tortoise, which is a little bit more like me, where I'm a little bit more slow and steady and I can stick with something for a while, then you might be able to do both at the same time and you might be able to get some of the benefits of learning about investing and making some progress there while paying off your debt. But again, back to the number one point, you really want to make sure that what you're earning or what you're able to earn is higher and better than the interest rates that you're paying on your debt. All right, so let me know down in the comments what I missed, what else you would consider or think should be considered when investing while in debt. And we just revamped our free e-course on our website. And so if you haven't gotten that yet, head over to seedtime.com. I think you're going to like it. It's five of the most valuable lessons that I've ever shared. And I think they're going to be really helpful to you and it's completely free. So just head over to seedtime.com, get signed up right on the homepage and you can get access to that immediately. And again, it's completely free. All right, so that's all for today. Have a great rest of your day. Be blessed, be a blessing, and I will see you soon.